Good morning, everyone. We have arrived at the last verse on this Friday, the 24th of February. We're arriving at the last verse of our look at the love chapter, 1 Corinthians 13. And here it is. Verse 13. 1 Corinthians 13 says this. Paul says, Three things will last forever, faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. So Paul has come full circle in his uh, description of what love is and what it isn't. The whole aspect of it doesn't matter how many gifts we have and how eloquent we may be, how generous we may be, if we don't have love, it amounts to nothing. Then he describes what love is and what it what it isn't. And then he, he says that in spite of the fact that we know all this, we're still in that position of we're leaving away childish things, becoming more adult, and yet we still don't know everything. There's th things that this side of heaven we will never fully understand. But there are three things that we can be assured of, and that is that these things will last always. Faith, hope, and love. No matter what goes on in life, no matter how many times we get things wrong or how many th times we get things right, we will know that faith is always there to be expressed and to be understood. There is hope that gives us reason to continue to have faith and there is love which continues to keep relationship with others and relationship with God firm and complete. So as we put our faith in God, as we realize his faithfulness for us, as we put our hope in his salvation and as he makes that hope uh, alivened in us by his Holy Spirit. All of that is encompassed with his uh, eternal love, his eternal commitment to love us through all of these things. And that's I think why he says, and the greatest of these is love, because love ultimately helps faith to, to be sure. It's because he loved us so much that we express faith to him. Because Christ loved us so much, we know that our hope in him is secure. That's part of the reason why this is such an amazing chapter. It reminds us of the incredible love that we have in God through his son, Jesus Christ. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little series on the love chapter going through uh, the month of February and uh, trust that you will have a really good weekend. God bless you. Praying for you today.